Hello, everybody. Pedro here from NP Reacts. I'm here today with Paul from Gorgon. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm very good. Very good. I want to start off this interview with you by letting you know a little bit of information that I just discovered about myself. First, I want to ask you, I don't want to assume anything. Are you French? I am. All right. So I want to tell you something very interesting. I did a DNA test a couple of weeks ago. Turns out I'm 25% French. <laughs> So we're like family. Um, you're not supposed to be like uh, from Portugal. I'm like, actually 51, 50 percent Portuguese, twenty five percent French, twenty five percent Spanish. According <laughs> to my DNA test. So, so it's from uh, your family over there. Yeah. So I'm technically more French than Zinedine Zidane. Uh, you are actually. <laughs> <laughs> Something cool. I I, I I'm I, telling this to everybody that I know. I'm more French than Zinedine Zidane. That's great. You have maybe even more French than I am. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I still haven't made such tests, so maybe I will discover something. <laughs> it's really cool. You really find out a lot about yourself. Like, I had no idea I was 25% French. Well, my girlfriend had it for Christmas gift, so she still has to do the test, but <laughs> we find out. <laughs> you should do one yourself. It's really yeah. cool. I guess All I right. should, yeah. Enough about me, enough about our DNA. Let's talk about uh, Gorgon and the brand new record that's coming out. Uh, Elegy, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. I butcher names all the time. It's is good. it good? Yeah, it's all fine. right. So Elegy is the second album that you guys are releasing. How yeah. long have you been working on this record? Um, I guess something around three years, I'd say. Um, we started working on it uh, just right after releasing our first album, Titanomachy. Um, for a simple reason, um, we were starting to making some festivals and tours and stuff, and we've been already asking to do longer set lists. And with just one album, we couldn't make like a one hour and something show. So we had to write more music. So that's why it started really early and so yeah, I guess three years, something like that. That's a really good problem to have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me ask you this. Why did you choose the theme of, of women for, for this specific record? Um, well, it, it, I, guess, I guess it came all by itself. Because um, as I told you, we started uh, working on these new songs quite early. And it started with one song, when a second one. and I figured out that I was writing music and my lyrics in one same direction. And it wasn't uh, intentional. But then uh, when I continued writing the album, I realized that this was what I wanted to do. But it wasn't intentional at, uh, at the beginning. And then the idea came out and was, OK, this is pretty clear. I have to do this. So yeah. <laughs> When you sit down to work on a, on a record like this, do, do you really first come up with the music structure, with the songs, with the riffs, the solos, the melodies, and then create the lyrics? Or in some cases, you had an you had a lyric and you work uh, the music around that lyric idea? Um, I guess it's both, but um, generally it starts with uh, an idea, like a concept uh, of a story or maybe just a sentence that sounds cool or a subject, uh, a character, something like that. So it starts basically first from uh, an idea of lyrics and yeah. Were, were your, uh, for this re specific record, for those that haven't checked out the album review that I did or haven't uh, looked into it, it's a concept album uh, about women in general where you have uh, several different stories. Each song is basically an individual story about about a different woman. At any point in time, did you think perhaps of creating a whole album where it's one of those stories and every single song tells a piece of the story versus eight different stories? Well, as I said before, it um, the idea came by the time because I started writing one song one after the other. And when I was half <laughs> off the road I was like I got four or five songs the lyrics are pretty connected between each other and it wasn't intentional at first so when I was at the half 
of the whole album, I decided to keep that direction and to finish and to complete the concept. So it came by the time. The idea was there uh, without my uh, me being acknowledged about it. I came with the time. The, the structure of the album, do you, do you guys take time to put this structure together? Is it is it important for you, the order that the songs come uh, on the record? Or or how, how do you go about deciding that? Because to me, this album really had a nice fluidity to it. It, okay. it, it almost felt like the stories had, even though they were not connected, there was a sense of, of a continuation, so to speak. So did you take time to think of how you wanted the album structure to be? Well, for a few songs, um the place in time in the album is connected to the lyrics. Um, so you have the first track of the album, Origins, uh, which is pretty basically um, the beginning of the universe, how it was born. And uh, so it was logical to have it as the first song. Um, and then you have the outro, which is pretty obvious. Um, and in the middle, uh, it's not really um, connected to the lyrics. It's more about the overall balance of the album between really aggressive songs, more soft ones, more melodic, more aggressive. So it's to keep the right balance and not having songs too similar that are too close to each other. No, it, that's how I felt. I felt the album was really well balanced out. There was there was a nice fluidity to it. It was not very. It was not linear at all because okay. it's not like you get like a bunch of songs in a row that feel all all the same. They all give you something different and something new. Uh, okay. What are your expectations from this record coming out uh, on uh, January eighteenth? Well, um, everything and nothing. I, I'd say it's uh, something new for us because. Um, it's our first time releasing an album uh, with a label, so it's new experience. Uh, it's a different way of doing things also because uh, I have some bad habits because <laughs> I'm doing almost everything for the band and now I have to work with other people and it's going pretty well. So this is already good, but yeah, it's a um, different way of working. and. About the expectations, well, I'd say just more gigs, more tours, uh, and try to well do more things in the future. So it's really open, I'd say. Uh, do you have any plans already that you can reveal for 2019 as far as tours and shows are concerned? Uh, yeah, somehow. We have some gigs plan, uh, planned for uh, Germany. We have a small tour in Germany uh, that is being planned right now. And for the rest of Europe, we have nothing really concrete for now. Um, we have a special show in Paris uh, for spring, still not announced. So I can't say much for now, but yeah, pretty much that's all we have for now. I, I want to ask you something specifically now about yourself and about your voice. Do, do you do anything special to keep it fresh for lack of a better word um i don't know <laughs> no i don't think so no oh, you're no, just... no. Uh, i'm not that kind of technical guy who's working a lot uh training a lot even on guitar and <laughs> i'm not a hard worker about that kind of stuff so i wouldn't say that i'm not really taking care of my voice that much Wow, that's interesting. It's interesting that you say that, that you're not that hard working because this album sounds to me uh, that was a lot of hard work putting it together. Uh, well, I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit. Well, there's a lot of hard work, but uh, you know, it's it's pretty co uh, complicated to explain because there's a lot of things to do. And in the end, um, singing and playing the instrument is maybe the last thing you think about. Because you have to write music, you have to record the music, you have to, uh, in my case, I have to do website, to do cover artwork, to do music videos. I'm doing all this stuff. And in the end, I have so little time to just work on my vocals, work on my guitar. And it's really the smallest part of my work in this whole thing. Is it hard for you live to, to be able to play and, and, and sing at the same time? Um, well, uh, I have to work a lot before gigs, for sure. But uh, when I'm I'm on stage, there's the 
this adrenaline effect that makes makes it really easier. It it, it takes over. You you go yeah, on yeah. autopilot. Sorry. You go on automatic pilot. Yeah, somehow um, songs are quite difficult at first, but when you start to understand it, it's not that hard. I think. Uh, switching gears a little bit from the album, still to do with the album, but switching gears a little bit. Maybe some people don't know, but you also do a lot of graphic design. You mentioned it, doing the mm -hmm. artwork for the album. Did you do the artwork for this record? Yeah. It's all yours? Yeah, it's all my work, yeah. So uh, how did the, because you've done artwork for other bands as well, yeah. um, and, and you do amazing work. Uh, I've seen some of the stuff that you've done and, you, and how you showed it from the beginning all the way to the final product, and it's oh, absolutely yeah. impressive. Uh, is that your second passion next to music? Well, um, it's kind of complicated. I started uh, my studies uh, as a graphic designer like many years ago, and I stopped doing all art-related stuff for music when I was 16, year, uh, 16 years old. So I really stopped doing drawing, graphic design. And at some point, I realized that um, when you, uh, you have a band, you really need to have those skills. So I started just for me and to make stuff easier, to not ask to someone to do it. And you know, uh, people started asking me to do stuff for their bands. And so that's how it started, actually. How did you get the idea for the, uh, obviously the idea has something to do with, with the, the content of this record, but uh, how did you come with the full concept of the artwork for this album? Um, well, it's a funny thing, but um, do you have the artwork in mind? Yes. Um, you see there's the moon and there's the, um, this lady and mm -hmm. the, shape, the shape does the female symbol. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's quite in the back, you can't really see it, but when you know it, you can see it. Oh, wow. That is, that is, that is a nice little tidbit. I, I honestly didn't notice that. Now I have to go back and look at the cover again to see uh, to see that. Are, are you planning on releasing, I know you released already of, uh, some videos of how you've done artwork for other bands' uh, albums, how you started from the first uh, image all the way to the final product. Are, are yeah. you planning on doing something similar for this record? To show um, the fact that you started from one point and to the end point? Well, I'd love to, but um, it took me so long to work on it that I have like 200 version of that artwork. <laughs> I, worked <laughs> on it. I worked on it maybe for about one year and a half. So I have so many versions uh, that it's really hard to have a really fluid uh, making of. From all the artwork that you've done for, for other bands, is there any single one specifically that speaks to you more, that you're more uh, in touch with, that you're really proud of over all the others? Um, well, I guess this artwork is, I, I'm, I'm really happy of it because um, it's pretty personal and I took the time. You know, there wasn't a real um, deadline since I started working on it like two years ago now. So it was really a slow process and maybe it's not technically what I did the best, but um, I achieved what I wanted to to make. So I guess this one, and also last Frostite album, well EP, uh, Re uh, Revenant. Yeah, so I, not I Revenant, uh, Dissident. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I saw the video that you that you posted of how it started from a picture, a face of a person, and how you worked yeah. all the way to the end. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I, not in a million years would I think that that was the starting point. To, to see the, the finished product. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Uh, let, let me ask you this, for your own artwork, I'm sure you take a lot of time because you're gonna be your, your own worst critic of your own, own work. Like you said, you had so many different versions of the working product until you finished the actual cover for the album. When you're working for some somebody else for another band, uh, do you take their input on what they wanna see in the cover and then you work around their idea to create what they what their vision is? Or, or you have some leeway in terms of, of the, what the artwork can end up being? Uh, it depends a lot on the clients, because you know, there, there are some people that really know already what they want, like exactly, so you just have to execute it. 
Um, there are some people that are super open. They just want something that looks cool with a basic idea. And then there are clients that know more or less what they want. <laughs> and then you have to figure out what they really want. And it's pretty hard, but it's part of the game. And it's also fun to to manage, to make people happy, even when they are doubtful about the final result. And yeah. I got two more questions for you. I want to ask you, what do you do when you're not creating music, when you're not working on art, uh, what do you do for fun? Well, um, I got Netflix, so that's pretty, pretty much. Uh, Netflix and chill. What? Netflix and chill. Yeah, that happens a lot. And, <laughs> and video games also, even if I'm not, um, not that able playing them uh, for a long time because I really feel stressed about it. You know, I'm playing and I've judged myself like I should make something more constructive. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of video games, just out of in curiosity, what are some of your favorites? Um, well, Fallout games. Yeah. So Fallout 4 on PlayStation 4, for example. Um, uh, are you, are you a fan of Assassin's Creed, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I've been playing um, not the last, the previous one, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, in that uh, happens in Egypt. That's pretty good, but I still haven't finished it, and I have it for like one year now. And <laughs> so. uh, I'll, I'll tell you a secret: I, I, I've finished every single Assassin's Creed up to four, which was Black okay. Flag, I believe. So I finished all of them. The issue is, the reason I, I stopped playing was because when I would buy one and, and, and put it on, I would disappear for like hours, days. <laughs> I couldn't put it down. I just needed to finish the game because it's also a story. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you want to find what the story is all about. So uh, I, I know what you're coming from where you're saying you need to do something more productive. So I decided to stop playing. So that's <laughs> that, that was my solution. I want to ask you one question about the band. Uh, you guys are releasing the album January 18, this coming Friday. Uh, yeah. do, are you guys having a release party? Is there anything you can tell the fans uh, about it? Um, yeah, we have a small party that is happening in Paris, you know, in a small bar. So it's nothing fancy, but yeah, just to celebrate and to mark the end of, a, of an era and of the whole process. So, yeah. What's the best place for folks watching this interview what's the best place for folks to go and order the album buy the merch where they can find you guys and your and your music uh well there's our website and our labels website so it's dusktone.eu and gorgon.fr all right i'll put those links in the description of the video so if people are looking for for you guys i'll put a link to your uh, youtube page and facebook so they can find out more about the band. They can find out all the links necessary to purchase <laughs> the record, purchase the merch. By the way, I've been to your website, extremely well designed. Oh, very thank you. <laughs> sharp, sharp looking. And more important than all of that, with great merchandise. So I advise oh. everybody to go there, pick up the record. The record is absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed it. Pick up the record, pick up some merch, support the band. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Pedro. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.